Beloved, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we are celebrating this month as month of love, I pray that God's love will be manifested upon your life, your marriage, your relationship, your business, and everything that concerns you. If there is something that the devil has caused in your life to cause you pain, to cause you tears, to cause you sorrows, to cause you hardships and poverty, if something is not going on well in your family, if something is not going on well in your marriage, in your relationship, if there is something that is going on in your personal life, I speak as a servant and a psalmist of God, that God will restore his greater love to make things right in your family, in your marriage, in your relationship, in your business, and everything that has to do with your friends and loved ones. I pray that the greater love of our Lord Jesus Christ will be manifested upon your life. And if there is something that is going on in your body, some incurable disease that has stayed in your life for so many years, may God remember you today and cause His divine healing upon your life. God will see you through all difficulties and all life challenges. God will deliver you and save you from all messes and will turn all those tears to tears of joy. You will cry no more because I see God remembering you once again. He will remember you for good. The business that is collapsing, the love of God, will be shown forth in that business and you will start seeing the glory of God in your business. If you have submitted an application for a visa to be approved, God will show forth his love upon you. That visa will be approved. If written an application seeking for a job, God's love will be manifested upon you. That job application, you will be qualified for that job in Jesus' name. Maybe you are planning to get married and you are praying, seeking for the face and favor of God. I pray that anything that God needs to bless your life with to make that marriage work out for your good, may God release all those blessings from his kingdom into your life. I pray in the name of Jesus that if there is some confusion that has been set in your family to destroy the family, to tear the family apart, may God, peace and love be restored in your family. Togetherness will be restored again in Jesus name. I am praying that if you are facing life challenges, if you are facing difficulties and so many hard times and problems in your marriage, in your relationship, I pray that God will step into that marriage and that relationship and cause his miracle and deliverance in the marriage and relationship. Whatever that the devil is causing that marriage and is causing that relationship, I pray that Jesus hey, will be so mighty and will let your marriage be a fruitful one and will lead your relationship into a glorious marriage. May Jesus remember us. May the love of God speak on our behalf. May the love of God bring forth the goodness and mercies that is in the kingdom of God. I decree and declare unto you as the psalmist of God that in this end time, you are going to see the glory of God. In this end time, whatever God has said about you will come to pass. Whatever that concerns your education, your finances, your business, God will speak and you will see the glory of God in your life. This month of love will never pass you by without you experiencing favor that is in God. This month of love will never pass you by without you achieving your goals, your dreams and visions. You will see the goodness and glory of God in your life. I wish you all the best as we celebrate this month as month of love. God bless you May God guide you and protect you and deliver you from all oppression, depression, distraction of the enemy. Every disappointment, I pray that God will turn into a divine appointment. Every failure will turn to victory in the name of Jesus Christ. All tears shall be tears of joy in the name of Jesus. God will establish you in life and grant you capital in your business 
and grant you love that is of God in your relationship and marriage. You will testify that indeed the God of the Son is the God of love. I love you. Shalom. Peace.